Your son is a failure. He's barely passing my class, and with grades like this, I'm just not sure what kind of future he's going to have. What do you have to say for yourself? You're supposed to graduate this year. Listen to Mr. Johnson. What kind of future do you think you're going to have? With all due respect, don't call me a failure. Failure is an event, not a person in fact. And you talk about the future, Mr. Johnson, but you're not preparing us for that. Excuse me? Just listen to what I'm saying. This should be good. Would you agree that in the future, most careers will become automated? Yeah, so? So the people who succeed will have to be curious, innovative, with resilience to adapt to new changes. What's your point? My point is, the focus in this school is not on that. It is on regurgitating information and test taking, and that's just real. But in today's world, creativity is the most important leadership skill. Oh, that's how you feel. You don't have to believe me, but maybe you will believe the 1,500 executives who recently said creativity is the most important leadership skill. See, pretty soon, no one will be hired because of what they know. Because who cares what you know or if you've memorized a fact? We've got Google and Siri for that. In the future, people will be hired because of what they can do with their knowledge. Can they creatively solve real-world problems, not just follow instructions or directions and bubble in multiple choice questions? So, Mom, that's why I'm stressed, because these robotic tasks we learn in school should stop. Because no one can do a robot's job better than a robot. Billionaire founder of Alibaba, Jack Ma, said that we should not compete with artificial intelligence, but instead focus on developing unique human intelligence. Mr. Johnson, drills are for teeth, not the human mind. So these repetitive knowledge-based tasks we must leave behind. Or in the future, you're going to find a lot of people graduating out of your class right into the unemployment line. See, many top companies today don't look at grades. Mom, that old way is expiring. Google has been quoted as saying GPAs are worthless criteria for hiring. Founder of Tesla, Elon Musk, agrees. So I say this with unease and sorrow. If you continue to teach today as you taught yesterday, then you rob us students of tomorrow. Mr. Johnson, I'm going to keep it real with you. Sometimes sitting in your class is tough. I'm constantly thinking if I don't look up at the clock, maybe it'll speed up. So I listen to you do my work and pay attention, feeling like an hour had to have gone by, but it was only three minutes. So if you wonder why we're bored in class, look, you want to get a kid to hate reading? Give him this, a school textbook. And some people think it's our fault, and that hurts me. They say you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And to that I say no. Firstly, you can put salt in that horse's hay and make him thirsty. And if you bring joy in your classroom, you can make any bad student nerdy. As he or she discovers the beauty of truly learning, Mr. Johnson, I mean no disrespect. You have the most important job on this planet. You build, create, and save lives. But if you really care about my future, like you say, then you have to fully commit and ask yourself honestly, how do I prepare a child for a future that doesn't yet exist? Here's a hint. The answer is not found in this. It's using this and this. See, in the future, we will need more passion and compassion. People with inspired hearts and wisdom to uplift this planet. And mom, I love you, but can I be real? Go ahead. You want to know one of the biggest factors for childhood success? It's not IQ. It's family meals. And we haven't had one of those in a while. See, I know sometimes you don't feel proud, because I may not be a straight-A student, but I'm not stupid. These tests may be 70% of my grade, but there's 0% of my future. But don't worry, I'll pass this class and get through this. But I need you to give me the space I need to be me and live true. Because the best feeling in the world is that your own parents get you. There's a passage in a book called The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. And if you don't mind, I'd love to share it with you. Go ahead. See, he says, your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, they do not belong to you. 
You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow. So mom, I'd appreciate it if you give me the love that I need to pursue my dreams. See, if we are to succeed, all three of us need behavior change on all fronts. We talk about the future, but the future is now. And it is created now by all of us. I've never heard you speak like that before. Yeah, I didn't know. But I'm going to reach out to administration and try to change some things. You have my word. <laughs>